Good day everyone! Welcome to another segment of Juan Arliwag Memorial High School Senior High School Math TV. For today, we will be discussing how to identify the center and the radius of the equation of the circle. So we have here an example x squared plus y squared plus 8y is equal to 33. All we have to do is to complete the square. So how do we complete the square? We'll be having x squared plus y squared plus 8y plus the term being completed is equal to 33 plus this term again. So what you did in the right side will also be done to the right side. To the right side. Okay, so we'll be having x squared plus, since there is no other term involving x, we will not be having coordinates of the center in the x-axis. Plus y squared plus 8y plus, what is this one? So what is the term being completed? That becomes 8 over 2. 8 over 2 is equal to 4. 4 squared is equal to 16. So this is 16 is equal to 33 plus 16. Okay, we'll be having x squared plus, let us now get the factors of y squared plus 8y plus 16. And what will be the factors? So since this is positive, the middle term is positive, and the last term is also positive, therefore, we'll be having y plus y plus 4 quantity squared. Since 4 times 4 is 16, and 4y plus 4y is equal to 8y. Is equal to what is 33 plus 16? We'll be having 49. Okay. Since the equation of the circle is equal to x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared is equal to r squared, we are asked to identify the center and the radius. And what is the center? Do we have another term involving x? We don't. Therefore, that is 0. And what is this one? We have y plus 4 is equal to 0. Therefore, the y coordinate is equal to transpose positive 4 to the other side. That becomes negative 4. And the center now is equal to 0 and negative 4. r squared is equal to 49. r squared is equal to 49. Therefore, what do we do? Get the square root. We'll be having square root of r squared, square root of 49, R is equal to 7 units. Therefore, R is equal to 7 units and the center is located at 0 and negative 4. Good day, judges. Welcome to another segment of One Arliwag Memorial High School Senior High School Math TV. And we're now ready to answer problem number 10. And we're asked to identify the center and the radius of the given equation for x squared plus 4y squared minus 16x plus 40y plus 67 is equal to 0. So what do we do if we're given this problem? And we are now given the coefficients of x squared, y squared, x, and y. So all we have to do is for us to know first if the coefficients of the x squared and the y squared are the same. Look at the coefficients is 4 equal to 4. It is the same. Therefore, what we need to do now is to divide both sides by 4. So let us divide both sides by 4 because this that is the same coefficient of x squared and y squared. 4x squared divided by 4 will just be x squared. 4y squared divided by 4 is just y squared. Negative 16x Divided by 4 is equal to negative 4x. 40y divided by 4 is equal to positive 10y. And the last one is 67 divided by 4 is just 67 over 4 is equal to 0 over 4, which gives us 0. Okay, the next step now is to isolate the constant. So we need to transpose the constant to the other side. And what is that constant? That constant is the term which does not involve either x or y. And that is 67 over 4. So we'll be having x squared. So let us now arrange x squared minus 4x plus y squared plus 10y is equal to transpose this to the other side. If that is 
positive 67 over 4, that becomes negative 67 over 4. Next step is for us to complete the squares. Okay, we'll be having x squared minus 4x plus, what is that term? Again, the formula is negative 4 divided by 2. What is negative 4 over 2? That is negative 2. Negative 2 squared is... 4. That becomes plus 4. If that is plus 4, this is also equal to negative 67 over 4 plus 4. Okay, next one. Plus y squared plus 10y plus, what is this term again? That is negative b over 2. That is 10 divided by 2. 5. 5 squared is 25. So this is plus 25. This is plus 25. Okay, let us now try to get the factors. This is negative. The middle term is negative 4x and the last term is positive 4. We'll be having, always remember that the sign will be dependent on the middle term. This becomes x minus. If this is minus, this, is, this will always be negative. Okay, 4, that becomes 2. Are we clear? x minus 2 quantity squared. Because negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. Negative 2x plus negative 2x is negative 4x. Plus, let's now continue for this one. Y, what is the sign of the middle term? That is positive. Y plus square root of 25 is just equal to 5. Quantity squared. Let us try. 5 times 5, 25. 5y plus 5y is 10y. Okay, is now equal to negative 67 over 4 plus 4 plus 25. Okay, we now have the left side. Let us now try to solve the right side. For the right side, we need to get the LCD or the least common denominator. And for this one, only one term involves fraction. So, that is over 4. 4 divided by 4, 1. 1 times negative 67 is negative 67. Okay, since this is a whole number, if we will be transforming it into a fraction, that becomes 4 over 1. 4 divided by 1 is equal to 4 times 4, which is, that is 16. Okay, how about for 25? Again, this is a whole number. If we need to transform this into fraction, we need to place here over 1. 4 divided by 1 is 4 times 25 is 100. Okay, so let us now try to solve for this one. Okay, negative 67 plus 16 plus 100 is equal to 49 over 4. So we now have the right side. For the left side, we'll be having x minus 2 quantity squared plus y plus 5 quantity squared is equal to this one. Again, what is the center radius form of the circle? That is x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared is equal to r squared. Okay, since this is the given, in order for us to get the center of the circle, we'll be having x minus 2 is equal to 0, therefore x is equal to 2. So the center or the x coordinate of the center is equal to 2. How about for y? That becomes y plus 5 is equal to 0, therefore y is equal to negative 5. And the y coordinate of the center is equal to negative 5. Or the shortcut now for the center of the equation of, of the circle is to just get the opposite sign of the equation. So what is the opposite of negative 2? That is positive 2. What is the opposite of positive 5? That is the negative 5. We are given r squared is equal to 49 over 4. If we are given r squared is equal to 49 over 4, all we have to do is to get the square root. Square root of r squared is just equal to r. Square root of 49 over 4. Square root of 49 is equal to 7. And what is the square root of 4? 2. Therefore, the radius now is equal to 7 over 2 units. And this is now the center and the radius of the equation 
4x squared plus 4y squared minus 16x plus 40y plus 67 is equal to 0. Always remember, if you are given this kind of example, look at the coefficients of x squared and y squared first, and then look 